In this How to Svelte, we're going to work on a tree view today. So heading over to W3 Schools, let's see what that is. If I click on this triangle, it opens up a nested list. If I click on that, it opens up another nested list, and so on. So let's go ahead and copy the HTML they have, and we'll move that over to our Svelte REPL. So this is what the code looks like without any CSS. I'll go ahead and copy the CSS in small chunks so we can kind of see how it alters the DOM. Okay, so looking at the CSS, you can see most of the list has disappeared, and those are nested lists, and they all have this class nested. And looking at the CSS, they also made a class called active, which takes the display property and sets it as a block. So if we were to test that out, you can see the list, the nested list shows. And so this is our clue. Um, this is the point from which we'll work. And we'll do the exact same thing that they're doing, but we'll do it in a svelte way. So, and instead of adding active as a class, here we'll add it only on based on a condition. And so we'll make this condition based off of a Boolean that we'll create up here. This active class will only be in effect when Bev's showing evaluates to true. So if I hard code true in, you can see it shows that nested div. Let's go back to false. And then if we head back to W3 schools, you can see how this works is that we have to click on this arrow and only then do the nested list show. We'll need to click on this beverages span tag. So we'll put an on click event listener, and its job is to toggle this value. So we'll set Bev's showing to the opposite of whatever it is. So it's false now. If we click this, it'll then set it to true. And that's why we can see the list. Click it again. It's It assigns it to false and then hides it again. Now the other thing we're missing is the arrow pointing down. And if we look into the CSS, they have created a class called caret down and that will be on the same html element that the class caret is on so we need to do the exact same kind of class syntax here but do it on this span tag so it's the exact same condition so now if we click it the caret goes down the nested list shows click it again goes back up and the nested list hides. So that's more or less the progression that we're going to need to do. We'll do this to all the other nested lists as well. So the next thing that we would be able to click on is the li tag with the text content of t. And when t gets clicked on, it will show this nested list. So let's go ahead and set up that class. And let's make a variable called t showing. Set it to false. And then again, we're going to click on the span tag. And the event handler should just toggle this Boolean here. So it shows that list. Now let's work on making sure the caret faces down. And that's going to be on this span tag again. And that's based on T showing, evaluating the true. And the same progression again for green T. And when green T is clicked, then this nested list with types of green T will show. So let's add the class active. We'll add the on click to green tees. 
And then we'll work on getting the carrot to face down. Good, so that all works. Let me just clean this up a little bit so it's easier to read. So the other thing we can do is uh, put a little bit of a transition on this carrot. And this will make the transition a little bit smoother. We can also add a little bit of color to the nested list so it's a little bit easier to see. And we can go ahead and make this particular LI tag remain black so that you can see it as a heading. The other thing we could do is maybe add a little bit of a picture in the back. The main progression is to reveal and hide the list using classes. And then we use on click event handlers to toggle some Booleans here to show them and hide them. And that pretty much sums up how you would do a tree view uh, using Svelte.